Back in the 1990s, CBBC One was the top place to go for children's TV, with the likes of the Teletubbies dominating all the way through the day. However, in 2002, we saw the debut of the CBeebies channel. It went from this to this. So many shows and presenters came and went. What happened to such an amazing channel that I love so much? What happened to CBeebies? In 2002, the CBeebies channel was launched and the catchphrase was playtime all the time, with the likes of Teletubbies, Tweenies, Bob the Builder and Bill and Ben all making their appearance in the launch promo. Chris and Poi were the first presenters and this was what they use. Next bumpers. And of course they also used after that bumpers, but those bumpers wouldn't last long. They would only last three years. This is an example. Angel Mouse and Polka Dot Shorts. Two shows I've never even watched. So 2002 to 2004 was a very good period because lots of shows were on it, but they wouldn't be for long. In 2005, it was time for a rebrand, as we said hello to a brand new style of next bumper. <laughs> yes, it was goodbye to Dr. Rotter, Okie Doke and Play Days, and it was also goodbye to Fab Lab and Polka Dot Shorts. They were completely wiped out. But in 2005, we saw the debut of Wide Eye, The Roly Mo Show, and Barnaby Bear. And we also saw the debut of Something Special with Justin Fletcher from Higgledy House. So from 2005 to 2007, everything was in the middle. But the rise took place in 2007. <laughs> In 2007, it was the begin of the rise for CBeebies because they moved to a new home which had a living room, a kitchen, a control room, and a bedroom. There were four new segments as well. Get Set Go ran from 6 to 9, Discover and Do ran from 9 to 3, Big Fun Time ran from 3 to 6, and The Bedtime Hour ran from 6 to 7. And in 2009, it was the start of Panto season. The best Panto was in 2010, when CBeebies did Aladdin. It was very funny, but it was the story about Katie, who played the role of Aladdin, wanting to marry Princess Jasmine. <laughs> Don't give me that. Kerry played Princess Jasmine, but Abanaza wanted to put a stop to it. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, no, that was your back. Now, I have the ring of Zingzilla, Tinger Tinger, Teletubby.com. Wait a minute, can you say that website again? Zingzilla, Tinger Tinger, Teletubby.com. That does not exist for those who are watching. <laughs> and that's when everyone thought CBBs were at their best, especially with a new present as the ident for birthday time. That was the best one, in my opinion. Bring it back. But after 2010, things started to go wrong. In 2011, CBeebies moved away from Media City, so it was goodbye to most of the original shows, because they moved to the CBeebies house. It was very nice. And some of the old shows did remain, but some of the new ones started to come in. And unbelievably, in 2012, Chris went drag for the first time because he played the role of Dame Tilly Tinky Winky Tonky Wonky Tickabilla Trot. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick with Dame Trot. And by the way, Andy, who played the giant, actually found a way to dance mid panto. Say ah, uh, ah, say ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. No, 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 there's no time for that, no time for that. <laughs> that is clever and also very, very funny. <laughs> Look at Chris. But don't do that mid panto, that's not professional. For those who don't know, it was Jack and the Beanstalk, and it was time for Alex to be a bad guy. Is that the best boo you can do? Rubbish. That's what that but obviously, after 2013, most of the original shows were gone. 
the likes of the Green Balloon Club and Tots TV, they were done for. And then, after 2015, this is when it all goes horribly wrong. In 2015, we saw some new versions of CBB's ident. In my opinion, the Get Set Go ident was my favourite. Get Set Go! The bedtime song remained the same, except a girl was singing it, but we didn't see her face. Most of the original shows were gone, but there was a glimmer of hope, because in 2015, the Teletubbies received a reboot with a new baby son and new Teletubby voices. It was amazing to see the Teletubbies rise again, and they are one of the two shows that are still running on CBBS today, along with In the Night Garden. So there you have it. That's why I asked what happened to CBBS. So many classic shows gone. So many original presenters finished. And now we're in a world where CBBS presenters have to social distance because of COVID. What a complete joke. Get the vaccine. That's what I'm saying for the CBBS presenters. <laughs> so the kids can watch it perfectly. And take my advice, bring some of the old shows back. Maybe extend the schedule to 9pm. That's what CBBC and CITV do. Maybe you should too. Thanks for watching this episode of the October of Terror and once again, thank you to Mickey Travels for once again sponsoring this video. You've been watching the October of Terror episode 4. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.